Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and today is my March TBR. So basically, I have quite a few books I want to put on my March TBR, and also I have two books for school, but I'm not going to be including them in this video because I'll just talk about them in my wrap-up. So this month, there will at least be two books for sure read, um, because this month is going to be quite busier um, near the latter half of the month. After the 20th, everything kind of goes chaotic, so I'm going to try to maintain, like, keep reading through that time, but it, it could all go wayside. Um, but the book I'm currently reading is The Best of Adam Sharp by Graham Seamsey, and I'm only 30 pages through this book, so obviously it's being March 1st. Today, I'm going to be continuing reading on The this. next book on my TBR is actually one um, that I want to read throughout sometime in the month. I don't really have a placement where I want to read it. But it is Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw, and this is actually a play, and it's very tiny, and I actually want to get to it this month because I'm very interested in it. And I did haul it, like, three months ago, so I want to get to her. No, by this point, it's five months ago, November. Yeah, because it's the beginning of November, early October. Yeah, gee. Boy, does time fly. Um, lesson to everybody. Um, anyway, the next book I want to read is Confucius, The First Ten Books. I did read the first ten books online for my class last semester, but this one was also a really small book, and I just want to try to read a book a day. There's ten books, so it'll be ten days. And the books in this are very small. I really love Confucius' statements. And eventually I want to get, a, like, a bigger version of this with all the books in them, because I think there's 24, if I'm not mistaken, or 20. There's... It's above 20. No, there's more than 24. It goes into the 30s and 40s, I think. There's a lot, but, you know, I want to read this little one. And then the book after that I want to read, like, the full-length novel is The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton because I really want to watch the A&E miniseries and I've really been feeling like reading more Michael Crichton books, so I want to ride this wave out instead of, you know, try to pick other books off my shelf. I want to just read as much of, as many of his books as possible when I'm really feeling like them now because, you know, sometimes... I don't feel like his books as much because I want something lighter, but I'm really feeling like that. Maybe it's because I am in a sci-fi class right now and we're talking about um, obviously science fiction texts and Michael Crichton books. I would conclude most of them are science fiction texts, especially like Andromeda Strain. I keep saying Stain too, so if I say Stain, I mean Strain. It just, I don't know what's happening when I say that. The next book I want to read is Disclosure by Michael Crichton and this is one of the, this is the one that I was really interested in seeing. Um, or reading because also there's a movie based on it and it just sounds like a really interesting book and very different from Michael Crane books I've read before. And then the next two books on my TBR are ones that are like if I have time this month I'll get to and I don't really know for sure if I'm going to get to them or which one I want to read over the other. So the first option is The Innocent Traveler by Ethel Wilson. I read her book Hedy Dorval last year for school and I really enjoyed her writing so I want to um, get another book by her and this one is a classic or it's a new Canadian library classic and it's not too bad like I think it's like 300 pages so it's kind of small and I really liked her works or if I don't read that I want to pick up The Monopolist by Mary Pylon or Pilon um, and this one book is basically about the history of the board game Monopoly and I'm just really interested because I really enjoy the game Monopoly and I want to know more so I can impress all my friends with my trivia facts on Monopoly. When I say that, I'm being slightly sarcastic, but slightly serious, because every time my best friend and me talk, she always, like, most of the time she'll say something, and she'll be like, oh, like, I don't even know if that happens, and, like, I know all these weird facts, so, like, it just really helps my repertoire of being, like, the weird fact knower, you know? Anything that can help me. Um, anyway, uh, that is my TBR for, I was gonna say January, March, um, and also, just a side note, is I'm trying to read more books on my shelf, but at the same time, I'm really proud of this. If I read all these books this month, like the ones I, from the ones, the ones from my book haul that I most recently had, that means I only have two books from my book haul that I haven't read that I'm saving probably till I finish school. And that, I, I'm commending myself because like, I know sometimes they could sit on my shelf for a while, like half this haul. So I try to read more of the books I'm buying. So I have more, I do have more read books than unread books on my shelf, but I want to read a lot of the ones I was really excited about before I go off and buy some more ones, um, some new ones right now. And yeah, that's basically my TBR one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know how many books you guys put on your TBR for this month. Or if you have a TBR video, definitely link it in the down bar and I'll check it out. And yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.